Let's get it. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, uh, Ruanis. And today, I bring y'all my 20 of my uh, New Year's resolutions for the year of 2019. I know it's in December, and I know everybody's going to be doing resolution videos and stuff like that. And I just figured, why not I'll be the first one to do it, you know? Because nobody has done it yet. So I like to think of it like this as of, you don't wait until the start of the year just to do your New Year's resolution. Because as y'all know, you see on Twitter, everyone's going to be, oh, I'm a different person, new person, new year, new me, this and that. And then they end up doing the same exact thing throughout the whole next year. It doesn't make sense. But I'm just I'm just doing like I'm starting now. Like my personal advice to y'all. Start thinking of your New Year's resolutions, your, your plans for the new year. And don't just do them for the new year. Start writing them out now. Start so you can start working on them now. You don't want to wait until the new year to be like, oh, you know, this and that. Because majority of the time it don't last. Don't wait. Just go ahead and start now. So and another thing I want to say before I get started is don't just do it like uh, for 2019. Continue these goals. If you don't, if you don't reach them all in 2019, continue it to 2020. Continue. Just continue, continue, continue to strive. Strive until you accomplish these goals. Simple as that. So, like I said, I got my 20. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. My first number one goal for 2019 is to read my Bible more. I have the Bible app. You know, I actually have my Bible right here in my drawer next to me. You know. But you know we're we're in the millennium. It's you know 2019, 2018. Your phone's always on you, so I just use the Bible app. You know, figure you know it's more convenient. I wake up in the morning, you know, have my phone right next to me, take a little time out to read my Bible before I start start my day. So I just wanna. I just want to have a better bond with God. I believe in God. You know, not everybody believes in God. This isn't a video trying to force you to believe in God and stuff like that. But I believe in God. But I just feel like my my bond with God can be stronger. I need to strengthen that bond a little bit more. So I just want to strengthen that relationship with God. So that's my number one. Number two goal for um, 2019 is to start a business. For y'all that know me, I've been talking about starting a business. I said I was going to start my business in January of this upcoming year but i start talking about this i think maybe around around august or something of this current year 2018 i was thinking about i was like you know i'm gonna go ahead and start my business you know and i, I kept telling everybody i'm starting in january i'm starting in january you know so january is coming i talked to my dad we were talking and you know we in talks of doing like a partnership of you know doing our thing as y'all know i'm good with computers so I'm, I'm working right now to start my own online business because if, if y'all know me personally, my dad owns a, a physical shop. I don't want a physical shop. You know, I'd rather do everything online, which I did before, but things, you know, I was too young, you know, and, you know, so you know how that goes. So as of now, I'm approaching my father with a whole like partnership. It's not a just like, oh, he owns it. No, it's a partnership, you know. We'll both be going half on products, you know, just stuff of that nature. I'm working on that. I'm starting a business, getting guidance, you know, of how I should move and everything. So that's that's my number one, my number two goal of 2019 to start a business. So if any of y'all watching this, y'all need like a new computer, hit your boy up. I got y'all. I got y'all. Whatever y'all need, I got you. My third goal of the new year is to reach 5,000 subs in the first half of the year. So the first six months, within January to June, I want to try to reach 5,000 subs. I want 5,000 subs. That's what I want. Let's make it happen. Y'all watching it? Let's make it happen. So, you know, it's some it's some I want to do. It's a personal goal, you know. Um, I'm trying to get to it, man. I got I got more goals about the YouTube and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned, man. I got y'all. You know, make sure y'all subscribe, rate, comment. Let's get it popping. Start working on that goal right now. Like I said, I'm working on goals right now. So y'all go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get it cracking. My fourth goal of the new year of 2019 is to drop two to three videos a week. Because I'm trying to stay consistent. You know, that's the only way my channel is going to grow. If I continue to drop more videos, I can't drop. As of right now, I've been dropping one video a week. But I want to, I want to turn it up a notch. You know. I'm starting to get more familiar with the camera. I'm starting to get more, you know, here and here with it. All this time I ever, I, I, I vlogged before on previous channels, you know, small channels. I never really gave it that, mm. but 
I say with this channel, this right here was the first time I actually truly, truly vlog like in public, like in the stores and so like I said, it's I'm getting used to it. I'm getting here like here with it. So my fifth goal of the new year is to start the 52 week savings challenge. If y'all don't know what that is, I actually started, hold on, let me show y'all. I actually started it. Wait, as y'all see. I actually started it. The 52 week uh, savings challenge is where, it's a challenge where, let's say they start off with the first week. First week you put in a dollar. Second week you put in two dollars. So you, you constantly, whatever week it's in, you put in that amount of money into the stash. So fourth week you put in four dollars. All the way till you get to 52 weeks. As y'all know, it's 52 weeks in the year. You get to the 52 week, you put in 52 dollars. You know. It bills, it bills, it bills. Cut off to be like a thousand and something dollars or something like that. It's just a small challenge I wanted to do alongside, you know, my other savings, which I'll get into that on the, more into the video because some of my goals in this, you know. My sixth goal of 2019 is to start building my credit. Let me tell y'all what happened. So, <clears throat> I've had so-called line of credit with PayPal for about a year now. For about a year now and I thought that I was building my credit you know that, that's when I first started to really you know get a little bit into the personal growth and everything so I was like, okay you know let me start working on my credit I'm getting older I'm only 22 but I'm getting I was what 21 at the time I was like you know let me get you know so I get on my grown man stuff so I, I thought I thought I was building my credit but I really wasn't so I go to creditkarma.com Put in my, you know, the requirements of, you know, all that stuff to ask. I pull it up. My credit just has a dash. Literally, like when it shows the credit score, it just had a dash. No credit. I'm like, wow. Did my research or whatever, and I figured what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead. I found one of the best, highly suggested uh, credit cards. I feel like I'm very responsible. I'm gonna go ahead and open up a line of credit. You know and go up that nature and see, you know, start building my credit because as y'all know, man, you can't do nothing in this life without credit. Number seven, start a savings for a down payment on a house. Now, I say probably like two years ago, two years ago maybe, I opened it up because I was saving for a house, but man, things happen. Things happen. My eighth goal, of the New Year's resolution of 2019 is to save money. I even got it in capitalized. Save money. I need to save money. I need money. I spend money is like, I'm not gonna say I spend money on like, just like that, just blowing it. But I don't wanna change, something I'm gonna work on. My ninth goal of 2019 is to read one book a month. I have a bookshelf. Books are important. I emphasize reading books. You know how some people emphasize school and this. School is, eh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna give y'all no lecture about school and all that, in my opinions, but I just feel like reading books is more important. So let's move on to my next goal. My 10th goal of 2019 is to dress more professional. Really, I, I don't really dress up, dress up like that, even throughout the, like, school year stuff like that I didn't really dress I dressed up maybe like towards the end throughout the whole beginning of the first part of it or whatever I was just mainly wearing shorts uh like like the cloth shorts y'all know what I'm talking about y'all know what I'm talking about the cloth shorts y'all know what I'm talking about cloth shorts jerseys or just a regular t-shirt I never really like dressed up dressed up but I want to bring that more professional look into my wardrobe I got a few little pieces you know but I want I need more. <clears throat> I need to be able to, whenever somebody say, hey, I need you to come to this this social gathering or something like that, that business fit I'm going for, that, you know, that gonna make me some money social gathering. That's what I'm talking about. So I need I need to be able to pull out a fit, just go in my closet, like, boom, I got a fit. Boom, boom, throw something on me. Nice. So let's go ahead and move on to my next goal of 2019. My 11th goal of 2019 is to improve networking and leadership skills not that i'm a bad leader like i'm just a natural leader like i'm the one that just people gravitate to so i feel like i want to improve 
those skills and become a better leader. Simple as that. Not that I'm a bad leader or I feel like I'm a bad leader. I just want to improve. I just want to improve it. I want to improve my networking skills. I want to be able to communicate better. I want to be able to just walk up in a place and just, hey, how you doing? Boom. Hey, you know, we'll start a conversation like that. No train of thought. Just, just right there. So let's move on to my next goal. My next goal of 2019 is to, number 12, my 12th goal is to mind my own business. I tend to put a lot of effort into trying to help a lot of people. Just something that just popped up in my head. Use your imagination, a little bubble on top. Um, let's say you have a friend, right? And your friend says that they want to be the best basketball player, right? And they don't, they not, they not doing what it takes to be the best basketball player. They said that, that they, that's what they want to do. They want to be the best basketball They want to be like LeBron James. They want to be better. But they're not doing what they're supposed to. I typically, I'm, typ I'm the typical friend that will be like, hey, bro, or hey, if it's a girl, or, hey, you know, whatever. Um, You're not doing what you got to do. I'm the type of friend that's going to push you like, come on, come on, what you want to do? You say you want to do this, you're not doing it. Come on, come on. I'm, a, I'm the type of friend. I'm that type of friend. I'm the type of friend that's gonna push you. You say you wanna do this, I'm gonna push you. We're gonna, we're gonna eat together, we're gonna grind. Cause I wanna see everybody succeed. I wanna be the only person that's shining over everybody else. I want everybody to grind. I want, if you wanna do this, let's do it. You wanna do it, let's do it. Let's, let's make these steps, let's get to it. But I also gotta realize that not everybody has that in them. Not everybody wants to. They may say this, they may say that, but the actions don't, you know, don't show. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta mind my own business because you put a lot of effort and you like you. It becomes stressful. It's because it irritates you. It's like man, like you say you want to do this. I, I, you can do it. Like y'all don't get that messed up. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Do not get that twisted. Y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. Not everybody truly has that drive, you know. So end of the day, you end up falling out or you end up stressing yourself. I was like, bro, like. Get to the point where it's just like, it's sad, bro. It's like, like, what do you want to do? Like, come on, like, you know? So, this year I want to start working on minding my own business. Just, if that person, it's, a lot of people told me this too, like, bro, just mind your own business. Like, just stop putting effort because it stresses you out. It's like, if that person really won't help or, you know, they gonna come to you. So that's why I'm, I'm done budding in. It's, I'm working on that this whole year, just minding my own business. I'm not, I'm not trying to help people. You know, I'm done. My 13th goal of 2019, manage my money more efficiently. It kind of goes back to the same money, you know. Like I said, just this whole year, I want to invest more. I don't want to, I don't want to spend money on liabilities, which is, that's a lie, that's a liability, them liabilities right there, in my closet, them liabilities. I want to, I want more assets under my name. If y'all know me, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm hungry for power. I want assets. I want to own stuff. I want to, that's what I want, man. That's what I'm after. 14th goal of 2019 is finish decorating my room. I just want to decorate my room, man. That's a little short. Let's leave it at that. My 15th goal of 2019 is to cook more food at home. Stop eating out so much. I want to eat healthier. That's my whole goal of 2019. My 16th goal of 2019 is to continue helping people, help more people. I want to truly help people who are in need. Feed the homeless, you know. That's what I want to do. And so 2019, I'm going to help more people. Y'all stay tuned. My 17th goal of 2019 is to attend a concert. Which, if everything goes right, I will I will accomplish that on the 25th. My boy Cozart, he's um, having his first show out here in Houston, um, January 25th. I will be in attendance. I will be in If everything goes right, I will be in attendance. I gotta support. Support your friends, support your people, man. Let's we'll go ahead and get to my 18th goal. I'm smiling for this because it's my 18th goal. 
self care row. It's it's funny, but I always don't laugh because that's always me. I always saying every time I'm drinking some wine or something or something like that. Like she always saying self care row, self care row. Just taking care of yourself, man. Just making sure this is not only physical but also mental. Just making sure I'm there, you know. I'm not losing my mind. I'm not tripping, you know. Go to my 19th. We almost done. Hopefully I ain't, hopefully I ain't exit this video. We almost done. We are almost done. My 19th goal of 2019 of my New Year's resolution is to create more streams of income. That's self-explanatory. It is what it is. I need more money. The last goal of my 2019 goals, 2019 New Year's resolution, the number 20, two zero. Personal growth. Just continue to grow as a person, man. as a God-fearing man. Continue to grow. Become a better among us. Not only for myself, but a better among us to other people. That's what I'm ending this off on. Make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and comment. What are y'all New Year's resolutions? You know, let's get to it, man. Don't wait. Don't wait to 2019 to start. You start them out. At least start planning them out. If you can't, if you can't physically do them, start putting them in your brain. Start thinking about them. As you're on your way to work, turn off the music. Just cruise. Just ride to work and just think about your goals. How you gonna accomplish those goals? That all falls falls under thinking real rich. So y'all pay attention, bro. Make sure y'all raise the time and comment and start thinking about y'all. Y'all New Year's resolutions. Don't wait, start them now.